but imagine how dangerous it is. Here is the worst among counties nationwide. Detroit has become known as a food desert. With money still tight, a lot of people are looking for cheaper ways to eat. Well, one option, grow your own food. It's crazy that kids think it's normal to buy these types of groceries in corner liquor stores. It's kind of sad. Eight hundred thousand people in Detroit have access to only forty grocery stores. Thirty percent of the city is covered by vacant land. Wait, let's think about this. 30% of Detroit's land area is vacant. This equates to 39 square miles. That means that 1,087,257,600 square feet of land is being wasted. Now think about this. An average raised garden bed is 6 by 3 feet, or 18 square feet. Let's assume that 50% of this land is fit for urban farms, and that urban farms are built on only 10%. That gives us 108,725,760 square feet for urban farms, or 6,040,320 raised garden beds. If each garden bed only produces two fruits or vegetables each season, we can get 12,080,640 fresh fruits and vegetables produced each year for a city of 800,000 people. The city of Detroit is an extreme example of urban waste. However, vacant land, irresponsible agriculture, and poor nutrition are trends that exist throughout the state of Michigan. We believe these challenges present a unique opportunity for community gardens and urban farms. By providing agricultural resources to the Michigan community and creating partnerships between skilled volunteers and local communities, we hope to promote education, sustainability, and community while simultaneously building long-lasting relationships. I'm really excited about it. If you're wondering how you can help, consider making a donation today. Check out our website at www.michiganurbanfarminginitiative.com or check us out on Facebook.